We're also we're jumping into Regicide right now, which is one of Halo 4's new multiplayer modes. Yes. Uh, it's similar to VIP in that there is one guy who's the king, and everybody's going after him. Yeah, you can play Team Regicide, which, uh, are we doing that or are we doing Free For All? I think it's Free For All. Yeah, this is, this is sort of the, the default way to play it, where it's... You want to kill everybody, but you get extra points. You know, it's a it's a point-based game. Who has whoever reaches the point limit first wins. So you can get points for shooting anyone. However, you get a lot more points if you can shoot the king. So Mitch, shoot yourself there. You're the boss. Oh, where do you go? Where do you go? Right there. Uh, That's a battle rifle right <laughs> taking him down. Yep. I just threw a grenade. Just why not? All right, so let's give away a copy of the game. Um, Let's do it. We've got uh, an interesting question uh, from Gaming Feud. He asks, does it seem that 343 has fixed the problem of annoying campers? Well, sure. Things like Promethean Vision help with that. I mean... uh, Get out of here, James. Grenade him, Mitch. I had none. I wasted him way before that. That would do it. I I wouldn't say that they've they've done away with it. I think what they've done is they've created a... <clears throat> a, a very sort of uh, full-bodied sweep of things that you can do. Now, there's plenty of people who um, will use these different arm abilities and, and you know their specializations to play can, the way they play. Who then people will still camp. Yep. So, yeah, yeah, I've, I've the had king no is marked. Camping. And see what happens is if if you get if you are end up being the king <laughs> and you, <laughs> you stay close. alive for a while, you'll get more points, which will help you win. Nice shot. Right. Yeah, and, and the longer you stay alive, uh, not only do you get more uh, of a point bonus, but uh, I don't know exactly what the time is, if, if it's at a minute or two minutes, but you actually receive uh, higher shields and yes. then begin to start even do doing more damage, I believe. Or yeah, you, you get like an ordinance just drop or something. Yeah, super badass. Yeah. So the, the funny thing with, with FFA uh, game types and lone wolves from uh, Halo 3 and, and whatever the, the hoppers have been called in the past is uh, a lot of people can get really fixated on the king or the, the regicide or, oh yeah, it is the king. Yep. Um, and not pay attention to the three or four other people that are running right around him. Yeah, always um, shoot them. Yeah, exactly. they're distracted, so you, your best bet is to take out the guys who are focused on him. It's like free points. Or dis- will, discounted points. Absolutely. And those <laughs> points, points save, those points yeah. go towards you uh, no, no, regaining no. Um, the king status. So. Yes. so you can play one of several ways with, with regicide. I find it interesting that you... Like these guys, they're all just running right next to each other trying to shoot the king. <laughs> uh. oh. Alright, so... so. I'm, I'm a big fan <laughs> of this map, by the way. Um, the more I play it, the more I like it. It is the ideal DMR showcase. Um, and it's... Or sniper rifle, but I just... I'm personally not very good with the sniper rifle. Mitch, you were doing alright with it there earlier. But yeah, this... It's very much a, it's not a huge map, but it's bigger. It's, it's definitely a mid-size map, good for four on four. Three on three, I you know, definitely wouldn't go any smaller than that. I wouldn't, wouldn't bring fewer than six total players to this. Oh, Last finish second. it, finish it. Nice headshot there. Ah, There's my the hologram out too soon. What is going on? <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. He was that was a battle there. rifle. So, guys, if you're just joining us, <clears throat> we are playing Halo 4 multiplayer. Uh, this is a new game type called Regicide, and it's on the map Complex. Uh, if you have questions for us, uh, please tweet us at IGN uh, with hashtag Halo 4. We just gave away a copy of the game to Gaming Feud. Uh, I don't know if we ever came to a consensus. Do you guys feel like campers have been uh, in some way penalized or that they're discouraged from camping, or is it just kind of more of the same? I've never had any issues with camping in this. Yeah, I mean, it's it, just, it, it didn't even occur to me. Cropped up. Yeah. Never even heard of it. <laughs> never. I, what is camping? What is, what's video games? Does that involve a tank? <laughs> All right, here's a, here's a really good uh, question from Carl Willis, too. He asks, how do the gunshots feel and sound compare to other Halo games? Funny you bring that up. <laughs> uh, if you read the review on IGN.com, the gun, the weapon, the audio in general, the sound design in Halo 4 is absolutely one of the best things about the game. Every weapon sound has been completely redone, nothing has been left untouched, and these guns, even the assault rifle here, listen to this, it just sounds beefier and more intimidating, and it really just, you know, it may seem trivial, but it's not. It adds a lot to the combat when these weapons just sound more dangerous. Yeah, now, so does that say uh, something about the sound design for Halo 4, or does it also say something that maybe the sound design in previous Halo games uh, wasn't that exceptional or noteworthy? It was fine in previous games. It's just been taken to an absolute higher level with Halo 4. 
Right. So it was fine. That's what we're going for <laughs> then. That's fine. the benchmark. Huh? IGN.com. The sound was fine, guys. Get him, get him, um, get him. It's I, you. I would say, uh, I mean, there's a lot of things. Oh, that was man, That was nice. Oh, my uh, God. Uh, having spent a considerable amount of, amount of time playing the game myself, I would say there's many, many ways that 343 has tweaked the Halo formula, but sound to me stands out, uh, you know, almost above. Nice shot, Mitch. That was completely uh, almost above game. everything gonna, else. Like the, not lie. like the, the way that the weapons, um, you know, people keep talking about how do the weapons feel. Well, I be, because of the sound, I think they, they feel incredible. Yeah, they do. It, they do. everything sounds like it's hitting harder. Everything sounds just really, really deadly. And you feel powerful. Yeah, when you scope in with that DMR and pull the trigger, it is a just a potent just crack. Potent, you like that word. Potent, too. I've been using that a lot. Uh, all right, we got some questions coming in here. Pascal Rivet asks, uh, do, ha uh, so do weapons spawn on the map, too, yeah, or do they only come them. via ordinances? There's now, a we, bit of both. Yeah, oh. we talked about this uh, a little bit earlier, but um, yeah, talk about where the weapons uh, lie on the maps before ordinance. So a lot of them just spawn in very random locations, or I guess there are set locations that are randomized. Um, so every, at the beginning of most, if not all matches, three weapons will spawn, like a rocket launcher, a sniper rifle, uh, various uh, Promethean weaponry. And then from there, you just kind of you go for it or you don't, and you work toward your Oh, everybody's here. Oh, they're all trying to shoot this one guy. <laughs> not, what are you doing, Mitch? Not <laughs> going it, for it. You, not paying attention to the four other guys they could have killed. <laughs> I got a couple um, of them. That's right. So yeah, so, uh, and then do we know if uh, the maps themselves, they have preset weapon spawns? So like, do we know that in traditional Team Slayer, Ooh. on Complex, there's always going to be a shotgun, a rocket, and an X? Or is it, no, is, it is the weapon like, itself even randomized? I think the weapon is randomized. Okay. It may be like a limited number of randomized things, but uh, as far yeah, as I've the, seen, it's the, been like... Well, the starting weapon drops in certain modes can be preset. For instance, on a drift, which we will take a look at, one of the smaller maps, oh there's goodness. always oh. a sword in the very middle. Oh, yeah, okay. that's true. Stars. But so sometimes that... on the edge, you'll have a sniper rifle, and other times it might be uh, like a carbine. Okay. All right, so there there is a little bit of consistency, because that was always the thing, you know, from, from Halo Combat Evolved all the way up oh, to sure. Reach, uh, there were certain maps where when you spawned, everybody would make a run for oh, yeah. the rocket any, or any the first sword. Person shooter or, ever. Yeah, exactly. So, um... Where you going, Mitch? I thought that yeah. was going to be a route, but it's not. <laughs> Don't That's jump off the not. map. Oh, kill oh. me. Oh, man. DMR. For the win. Take him down. Uh, no! <laughs> well, you did well. All right, let's take some more questions. Uh, CGS8178, what's going on, CGS? <laughs> uh, asks, do the perks in multiplayer make it unbalanced for those with lower ranks? I, inherently, I guess, yeah. Because right now, we're all lower ranked. Um, some of the guys in this are really high because they've been playing it a whole lot. Um, and they have stuff that we don't. So you just you, you have to work toward it. But it yeah, doesn't take that long. It's not, well, and two things. It's not, it's not to the degree that Call of Duty is. I mean, for me, I, I feel like if I jump into a Call of Duty match and there's a dude there that's 20 levels higher than me, I have no chance. I completely agree, uh, yeah. But here, you know, it's it's definitely not as significant. The, the bonuses are, are more mild. Um, and also, you know, the matchmaking is going to pair you up generally with people that are close to your level. Sure. So, um, We're going to rock hot that, pink. That's, that's cool, oh, what everybody. Are you, what are you up to? 